Welcome Survivor to my light show. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but I have opened a light shop uh, where you can buy all these lights only for 25 dukes each. No, I'm just kidding. You might have previously seen my mod, the uh, expanded decorations modlet, and it has an update. After the great work of Satis, who's been uh, spending some time to help expand this, pun intended, it has been expanded into lights. And here we have a bunch of the lights that are available in vanilla. All these are actual vanilla assets. I've turned some of them off and some of them on. Uh, this one obviously is on. Oh, I love this street light. It gives such a nice big area of light. We also have this one over here. Also good. This one is really cool. Let me turn off this one. You'll see this one is a nice caution. Ooh, look at this. Doesn't this just look awesome? And all these lights as well. You have the open sign, you have the exit sign, you have the x-ray ones. Ooh, is that my brain? Oh, I think I got an alien lodged inside my spleen here or whatever it is. And all these nice lights that you can actually craft now and use. Turn on and off and everything and they provide obviously light and they just look awesome. I particularly like these two in my bases. And these are all light assets that are in the game. However, they're not available to craft by the player. You'll see them in the POIs now and then, where you'll run across, obviously, this one in the hospital. You'll see this one outside of some of the establishments, etc. But you can't actually craft them, which is so dumb. Sorry, fun pimps. It's a really dumb decision to not make these craftable. Look at this one, the fan with the light on. I mean, it's like awesome when you're decorating your own buildings and your own bases. But now, for the first time ever, you can craft them. And it is an XML only model. This is an expansion of my expanded deco. This is version 1.1. We will be able to craft all these ones and actually place them down and turn them on and off. So how this works is that you go to your workbench, you do search for expanded. And in this case, this is the expanded lights. We have all the other ones. Check my other video for those ones and you'll be able to craft it. You craft this one, some forged iron, some polymer, some electrical parts, which is what all lights uh, actually contain. I added some uh, casino duke tokens, uh, obviously because I figured that if you're making something big like this, you're making well, this one or what have you, maybe there are some small things that, you know, doesn't quite get covered in the the you know the du sorry not the dukes uh, it's not covered by the iron or the polymers etc and just to make sure that it's a little bit better balanced because these are extras they're not available normally to buy at the traders and if they were you'd be spending a lot more than 50 dukes but once you have them crafted in your workbench and they take a while you'll end up with this nice little shape menu which has all the different lights and it's one of those things that just to divert just slightly i wish that the fun pimps would do that they would put all the lights inside this own shape menu so you just craft a generic light and then when you're going to place it you just go and like okay so let's see here over here over this one i, I what do i want to have uh, let me do let me do this one let me see which one fit okay so it's outdoor i want to do this let me just put down this one and then you choose it accordingly and then you just hook it up see if i can hook it up like this and it's on right isn't this nice and you could do this with all the lights so unfortunately all the basic lights are not in there but all these new ones are you want to sign you just select that one put it down if you want uh, let's see here you want a table lamp disc desk lamp and this one looks really good then you just put it down as well you hook it up let's do that like this and now you have a little bit of a desk lamp just like i put over here so it's all using the same electricity system that is in the game it's using these assets that are in the game. It's just adding some objects actually to mimic these one, but to be craftable through the shape menu. And you'll see that it has a slightly lower watt draw as well than the regular ones, because I think those ones are a little bit high. You could just be using the, the craftable lanterns and not spend any watt at all on any power. So I think that's fair. I think that five for these ones would be way too much. So I brought them down to three, which I think is a bit more appropriate. So that gives you access to all these really nice lights. But there's more. There's also expanded, expanded, and doors. There's an extra door. Let me pick up some wood as well since I'm here. Okay. So there's an expanded doors as well that you can craft. And once you have these ones, and let me cheat in 
uh, just to save a little bit of time, you can place down basically these doors. And these are again vanilla doors that are just not craftable. Oh, doesn't this just look awesome? And of course they work like a normal one. You'll have like the front door, just to have a little bit of more variety what you do, because normally your wooden door is the that you can do is like this one. And it, I mean, you have to admit that if you want to have a nice space, you know, let's say indoor, you want to have a nice door, you don't want to have this crappy one. Come on, you can see through. People can see you when you're in the toilet. Ah, so now you make this one. So it's all vanilla assets, which means that it's server safe. You just place it on your server and all the clients will have it without having to install it. It also comes with some nice little door trims here that you can see which just makes it look nice in your building. Of course, it has a couple of different colors as well, as you can see. Oop, let's see, it has the, this one, of course, which is the white one, of course, the brown one. So you have a little bit of options. And all this is available in the Expanded Decorations Modelit version 1.1, which is now on Nexus. Link is in the description below. So what's the downside we're doing it this way? Well, there's actually one small little downside that you need to keep in mind. Even though these ones are actual in the game and they work perfectly now, actually not perfectly, but they work now, there is some, uh, there is some, let me get rid of this door. Oh, oh, shh. oh no, what did I break now? There is some weird bug because these are not registered as the default lights that are in the game, which means that even if I turn all of these ones off, there will still be a power draw from them. So if I turn it on, it's going to say 95. If I turn this one off, it's still going to say 95. If you turn it off or on here on the item itself, you can, but it will still draw the power, unfortunately, from the circuit. So if you're using these ones, just make sure you're using switches that really turns them off. Let's say I turn that one off and you'll see the power draw went down. If I turn it on, the power obviously goes on and it draws them out power. So if you turn them on and off, on the item itself, it, the game still thinks that it's active and will draw the power from the generator, which wastes some fuel. So uh, normally I don't turn things on and off on the light itself. I will have switches, but it's just something to keep in mind if you are used to doing it that way. Another thing that you'll see is that, uh, for instance, let's look at this one. Uh, some of these items actually, even though they are electrical items, the asset itself does not have an electrical endpoint. So this one you can see, the game knows that it's supposed to connect it here somewhere, uh, and it works really nice, same with these ones. But you look at this one, for some reason they haven't put an electrical endpoint, which means that an electrical endpoint ends up being in the middle of the block. So if you put a normal cable, it looks a bit weird. So what I normally do for these ones anyway, is that I use my wireless power and connect it that way, because that way you don't have the cable. It doesn't look weird in the middle and it still works the same way. So that's another really nice compliment to use the wireless power box. So try it out. If you've never used this uh, this model before, just download the latest one on Nexus Mods and put it on your email client in this mods folder. If you've used my previous version 1.0, which has all the other expanded decoration, which has uh, the home furniture, uh, the fridges and stuff like that, then you can just basically update to this one just to remove the old one, put in the new one. They are fully compatible or backward compatible. And I will be continuing to update this model. Uh, people might have if you've were really eagle-eyed you saw there were some wood blocks and brick blocks and stuff like that that's going to come into a future version still being tested out but i hope you enjoy this new light and door update i'll catch you next time special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel if you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos do follow the patreon link